जी नमस्कार यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ द न्यू लाइसियम फॉर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर दिस इज डॉक्टर जे के तिवारी हेयर एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू री स्टार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू री बिगिन द काइंड ऑफ नॉवेल्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैड डिस्कस्ड अ फ्यू नॉवेल्स लाइक बिल्डिंग्स रोमा कंस्टल रोमा राइट and in today's class you will have once again several types of novels their kinds their types their salient features along with examples so for the first agar hum baat kare first novel that we are going to discuss today is a epistolary novel epistolary novel the word epistle epistle means letter epistle means letter and a novel where story is advanced to with the help of letters right a story advances with the help of letters such novels are called epistolary novels they are written in the form of letters here you see the image right here you see a dozen of letters right and a story is proceeded the story is advanced with the help of the letters right the narrator does not narrate the novel but in fact the letter writer writes the novel a letter is sent somewhere and then another letter comes from the returning letter bhi aata hai idhar se letter send kiya jata hai and story develops in this way such novels are called epistolary novel and such novels are also known as the brief roman such novels are also known as brief roman epistolary novel or brief roman are the same an epistolary novel that is the narrative is conveyed entirely narrative is conveyed entirely by an exchange of letters all right the first truly epistolary novel was the spanish novel and the name of the novel was prison of love right first epistolary novel was written in spain it was an spanish novel the prison of love published in 1485 by diego de san pedro diego de san pedro if you talk about in uh, english novel english epistolary novel then in england it was started in the 16th century the founder of english novel in english right the founder of epistolary novel in fact in english was james howell and he wrote familiar letters familiar letters in 17th century in the mid of 17th century who writes of prison foreign adventures and the love of women and this was the time when even the word novel was not in existence but the type of novel right epistolary epistles were there right letters were exchanged and with the help of uh, with the exchange of letters the stories were conveyed the stories were narrated first work to fully utilize the potential of an epistolary novel was love letters between a noble man and his sister love letters between a noble man and his sister and the real writer is not known but the uh, generally the novel is attributed to none other than afra wen who was the first professional writer first professional woman writer afra wen right letter love letters between noble man and his sister attributed to afra wen this was the first work that fully utilized right that fully utilized the epistolary novel technique or the technique that is known as brief roman first thing first in an epistolary novel the story is advanced the story is conveyed with the exchange of letters right the protagonist the narrator the main character or the other characters they write the letters and their letters are replied by other side and in this way the story goes on right in england samuel richardson is said to be the great master of epistolary novel samuel richardson was in fact a professional letter writer and he used to write letter for the ladies on behalf of them 
and uh, their husbands used to work uh, far away from their places. So, Samuel Richardson used to write letters for them and when replies aate the, Samuel Richardson used to read the letters for the ladies and in the process he developed a type of novel and that type of novel is called epistolary novel and he wrote the novel Pamela or the virtue rewarded and in Pamela or the virtue rewarded the story advances with the exchange of letters. He wrote another novel Clarissa, the history of a young lady and that novel is also advanced, the story is advanced with the exchange of letters, right. There are several letter writers, mainly four and they write letters and usse story advanced hoti ha. Epistle means letter, epistolary novel means a novel that is written in form of letters, that's all. This is the only important point, a point that you have to keep in mind, right. Epistolary novel is a novel in which a story is advanced, story is conveyed by an exchange of letters, right. A story is conveyed by an exchange of letters and how many letters will be there? It's not certain, it's not definite, right. This is the novel Pamela. Pamela or Virtue Rewarded written by Samuel Richardson in the 1740, right. This is the cover page of the novel Pamela. Pamela or Virtue Rewarded in a series of familiar letters. This is epistolary novel. In a series of familiar letters from a beautiful young damsel to her parents. Who writes letter? A beautiful young damsel. Damsel means girl, right? She writes letter to whom? She writes letter to her friend or to her parents, right? Now, first published in order to cultivate the principles of virtue and religion in the minds of the youth of both sexes, right? This was the cover page of the novel, a narrative, a narrative which has its foundation in truth and nature and at the same time that it arguably entertains by a variety of uh, various and affecting uh, ingredients. So, this was the cover page, the novel was published in London, right, in 1740 and this is said to be an epistolary novel because in the novel story advances with the exchange of letters between a daughter and her parents. In 18th century, in the works of such authors as Samuel Richardson with his immensely successful novels Pamela and Clarissa. John Cleland's yeah. early erotic novel Fanny Hill, 1748, is written as a series of letters from the titular character to an unnamed recipient. Fanny Hill is the character and she writes letters to an unknown person. Right, letters are written to an unknown person and the story is advanced with exchange of letters. In France, there was letters personis 1721 by Montesquieu followed by Julie. Julie is a novel by Rousseau. Julie novella then Hilas by Jean Jacques Rousseau which used the epistolary form to great dramatic effect because the sequence of events was not always relayed, not always related directly or explicitly. In Germany, once again, the greatest of all, Goethe. Goethe wrote a novel, The Sorrows of Young Veto, right? And this was also in the form of uh, letters. This was also an epistolary novels. So, these are the examples. Samuel Richardson's Pamela, and then he wrote uh, Clarissa and then John Cleland's novel Fanny Hill and then in France Letters Persona by Montesquieu and then by uh, Rousseau, right. Rousseau's novel Helias, Julie and Helias and then another one Goethe's novel The Sorrows of Young Wertho, right. So, these are the novels that are epistolary novels, right, in the fashion of, in the style of novel letter writing, right, epistolary novels, right. Now, I will take a few more examples. There are three types of epistolary novels, 
three types of epistolary novels and these types are dependent on how many characters write the letters. If there is only one, right, giving the letter of only one character, that is called monophonic, right, that is called monophonic, giving the letters of only one character, like letters of Portuguese nun and sorrows of young Vatha by Gete. Right here, the letters are written by only one character. And if there are two, then that is dialogic. Right, in the dialogue form, right, giving the letters of two characters. For example, Fyodor Dostoevsky's novel, right, Fyodor Dostoevsky's novels, right, use the epistolary for his first novel, Poor Falk, right, in 1846. Poor Falk was the name of the novel written by Fyodor Dostoevsky and in that novel there are two characters who exchange letters between them, right? Two characters exchange letters between them, usko kehte hai dialogic. And if there are more than two, then you have polyphonic. Poly means many, poly means multiple, phonic means sound, multiple persons write letter. With three or more letter writing characters such as Bram Stoker's Dracula and Richardson's Clarissa. In Richardson's Clarissa, there are four characters who write novels. Right? Clarissa and Bram Stoker's Dracula. Right? These are the examples of polyphonic. So, there are three types of novels, three types of epistolary novels, monophonic, dialogic and polyphonic. Alright? Mono. Are monophonic, the letters are written by single character. Dialogic, letters are exchanged between two. Letters are written uh, by two. And in polyphonic, three are more than three writers, more than three people write letters. These are the types of epistolary novel. And from epistolary, now I come to the second one that is picaresque novel. Picaresque, picaro, this is a word, picaro. And what do you mean by Picaro? Picaro means rogue. Picaro is a Spanish word. Picaro is a Spanish word and it means rogue. It means wanderlust. It means gypsy. Right? It means gypsy. It means uh, adventurer. Right, a novel that has a protagonist who earns his livelihood through various types of adventures is called picaresque novels. Right, one who earns his livelihood through his adventures, through his wit, right, through his wit and through his adventure that is called picaresque novel. Picaro is a Spanish word and the term picaresque novel was earlier written in fact in Spain and from it, Spain it came to France and France to England. Picaro, picaresque narrative which emerged in 16th century Spain, although the most popular instance was written in France, that is Gil Blas, B -L -A -S, was written by the Frenchman Lee Says. And in England, Lysis was translated by one of the four wheels of English novels, Tobias Smollett. Right, he had translated the French novel into English and then wrote several picaresque novels like Adventures of Roderick Random. Right, who? The third wheel of English novel. Who is the first wheel? First wheel is Dr. Samuel Richardson. Second is Fielding. Third is Tobias Smollett. And fourth is Lawrence Stern. These are the four wheels of English novels. Epistolary novel was started in England especially by Samuel Richardson, the first wheel. Henry Fielding is called father of English novel. Henry Fielding is called father of English novel. He parodied uh, Samuel Richardson's novel. Shamela, uh, Pamela was parodied and Shamela was written uh, by Henry Fielding. And then he wrote a literary sibling of Pamela Andrews and the name of the novel was Joseph Andrews and then he wrote Tom Jones, right? These are the novels by Henry Fielding, right? Come to the picaresque novel, picaresque novel, the Picaro, 
is an Spanish word and picaresque novel was developed in 16th century Spain and Gil Blas was written in 18th century in 1715 by Lesage, a French novelist and then it was translated by Tobias Smollett. Translated by Right, who was an Scottish? Picaro is Spanish for rogue, and a typical story concerns the escapades of an insouciant rascal who lives by his wits and shows little, if any, alteration of characters through the long succession of his adventures long successions of his adventures and there is no change in character means it's a type of stock character it's type of flat character that never changes he goes on yeah he faces several struggles several adventures picaresque fiction is realistic in manner these points you have to remember picaresque fiction are realistic in manner point number one realistic in manner episodic in structure point number two that is composed of a sequence of events held together largely because they happen to one person and the third is satiric in aim these three points are very important very very important number one picaresque fiction are realistic in nature point number two Picaresque fictions are episodic in structure. And point number three, picaresque fictions aim joha, that is satiric aim. And these three points were suggested by none other than M. H. Abrams in his A Glossary of Literary Terms. The first and very lively English example was Thomas Nash's The Unfortunate Traveler or The Life of Jack Wilton, written in 1594, the life of Zach Bilton. Right, Thomas Ness was one of the university wits and he had written the novel The Unfortunate Traveler in 1594. Though the novel was written in 1594, but it was set during the reign of King Henry VIII. Right, and the King Henry, the protagonist of the novel is Jack Bilton. And Jack Wilton is an unfortunate traveler. And the novel in which a traveler keeps on traveling, right? He faces successive adventures. And uske baazud bhi jinda reh jata hai. Usko picaresque novel kaha jata hai. And if you talk about the example, this is the first one. Then another one written by Mr. Henry Fielding and his protagonist Joseph Andrews is a picaro. Right, Joseph Andrews is the Picaro. He was ousted from the house where he was working. And then he, accom he accompanies one of his friends. Ek admi, usse mil jata hai. And then uske saath he starts traveling. Right, adventure shuru karta hai. And uh, picaresque novels were always in fashion. Right, especially in 18th century. Picaresque novels were written extensively. The picaresque novel originated in Spain with... Lazarillo de Toms, doubtfully attributed to Dizo Hurtado de Mendoza. The next picaresque novel to be published, Matteo Almens Guzman de Alfraci. These are the Spanish one. Then another great, great, the greatest novelist, Cervantes. Cervantes novel, Don Quixote. Cervantes novel Don Quixote written in 1605 and 1615 the greatest example of a picaresque novel greatest example of picaresque novel and when Henry Fielding wrote his novel Joseph Andrews he gave the name of Cervantes on the title page of Joseph Andrews saying that the novel was written in imitation of Cervantes Don Quixote Right, Cervantes was a Spanish, right, and he wrote the novel Don Quixote, and uh, Don Quixote was a picaresque novel. In English, the female Picaro was 
revived in Daniel Defoe's novel Mall Flanders. Mall Flanders is a novel that was written by Daniel Defoe and Daniel Defoe is said to be the first novelist, first complete novelist in England and his novel Robinson Crusoe is said to be the first novel officially. First novel kaha jata hai and his novel was Mall Flanders. Mall Flanders was born in a prison house and from there right he kept on traveling throughout her life she faced many adventures she faced many difficulties right and she came across several uh, situations situations that were not fit for her but she faced she came across she became victorious and finally she died peacefully right Daniel Defoe's Mole Flanders and many picaresque elements can be found in Henry Fielding's Jonathan Wild, Joseph Andrews and Tom Jones and in Tobias Smollett's Roderick Random, Peregrine Pickle and Ferdinand Count Fathom. The outstanding French example is Lisage Gill Blast. Charles Dickens says the Pickwick Papers, Nicholas Nickleby, David R. Then Goggles, Dead Shoal, Mark Twain's Huckleberry Finn and Thomas Mann's Confessions of Felix Krull. These are the examples of picaresque novels. Right? These are the examples of picaresque novels. Mark Twain's novel, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and uh, Tobias Smollett's novel. Right? The Adventures of The Adventures of Roderick Random, The Adventures of Perizrin Pickle, The Adventures of Ferdinand Count Fathom. These are the best examples of uh, picaresque novels right best examples are picaresque novel picaresque is a spanish genre picaro is a spanish word and it means a wanderer a wanderlust a rogue a person who travels from one place to another in order to uh, in order to earn his livelihood and he earns his livelihood through his wit and aisa jahan par protagonist hota hai such novels are called picaresque novels right developed in the renaissance developed in the 16th century in spain from spain it came to france lesage wrote the novel gil blas and then from gil blas it was popularized in the 18th century novels though earlier in 17 16th century last decade of 16th century thomas nash also written a picaresque novel that was then called romance the name of the novel was the life the unfortunate traveler or the life of jack welton all right now i can proceed if you allow we recognize the survival of the picaresque type in many later novels as mark twain's the adventures of tom sawyer thomas mann's felix krill and saul bellows the adventures of augie march the development of the novel was much to the prose works which like the picaresque story were written to deflate romantic or idealized fictional forms and then Cervantes novel Don Quixote was the single most important progenitor of the modern novel. Daniel Defoe wrote many novels like starting from his first one Robinson Crusoe then after Robinson Crusoe he wrote uh, uh, Mole Flanders and almost all his novels are picaresque novels right robinson crusoe is also picaresque novel mole flander is picaresque novel right both of these are still picaresque in type in the sense that their structure is episodic rather than in the organized form right their structure are episodic rather than in the organized form of a plot while mole is herself a colorful female version of the old picaro right colorful female version of the old Picaro and what are the specialities of Moll? She was 12 year a whore. She married five times, five times a wife, whereof once to her own brother, though unknowingly. Right, 12 year a thief. She remained a thief for 12 years. Eight years a transported felon in Virginia, as the title page resoundingly informs us. But Robinson Crusoe is given an enforced unity of action by its focus on the problem of surviving on an inhabited island 
and both stories present so convincing a central character sent in so solid and detailedly realized world that Defoe is often credited with writing the first novel of incident. First novelist he Defoe ko kaha jata hai because all these novels are not episodic in structure, they are tightly knitted, right, tightly knitted plot hai, that's why unko first English novelist Daniel Defoe ko kaha jata hai. Alright, and after Daniel Defoe, just see the cover page of this novel. The history of the adventures of Joseph Andrews. Where the word adventures is added, it means the novel is going to be picaresque. Right, adventures means picaresque. And the history of the adventures of Joseph Andrews and of his friend, Mr. Abraham Adams, written in imitation of the manners of Cervantes, author of Don Quixote. Right, Don Quixote was the author, uh, Don Quixote was the novel written by Cervantes and Henry Fielding wrote this novel in imitation of Cervantes. Right, history of the adventures, this is a picaresque novel. All right. And after picaresque novel, now you come to another genre of 18th century, that is Gothic novel. Actually, 18th century is the age of prose and reason. 18th century was the age, was the century when novels developed, starting from Mr. Daniel Defoe, Samuel Richardson, Tobias Smollett, and Lawrence Easton, Dr. Samuel Johnson, right, the, all of them wrote novels, wonderful novels. And in the mid of the century, in the sixth decade of the 18th century, a new form of the novella emerged. And that new form of the novella is called Gothic novel, or mystery novel, or horror novel, or terror novel. Horror novel, terror novel, mystery novel, gothic novel, gothic romance, all these are the same. What is gothic? Originally, G-O-T-H, goth was a tribe of Germany, right? Goth was a tribe of Germany and they used to make architecture that is called gothic architecture during the medieval period. They used to build huge buildings, right? And the gothic novels are set in such a building. The owner of the real owner of the building is no more. The building has been occupied by someone else, but the spirit of the owner is still haunts the house, is still haunts the building. That is the real basic of the Gothic novel. I hope you would have watched the movie Bhutanath. Right, Bhutanath in the movie is Amitabh Bachchan and Juhi Chawla along with her son stays. And the building is haunted by the ghost. Wo haunt karta hai and he keeps on coming. He used to play with the child. Right, that is Gothic novel. Gothic novel is a novel, is an alternative term. Gothic romance is a type of prose fiction which was inaugurated by Horace Walpole. Right, in 1764. And in 1764, he wrote the novel and the novel was, the first gothic novel was The Castle of Otranto. The Castle of Otranto, castle means building, Otranto is the name of the place and the subtitle was a gothic story. Subtitle was a gothic story, right? The subtitle refers to its setting in the middle ages and flourished through the early 19th century. Right, flourished through the early 19th century, starting from the 18th century. Some writers followed Walpole. Walpole's example by setting their stories in the medieval period, others set them in Catholic country, especially Italy or Spain. Right, the novels were basically set in Italy or Spain during the medieval period. They were Catholic countries and in the Catholic countries, in the buildings of Goth, right, the novels are set. What are the features of the Gothic novels? As I told you, the features of the Gothic novels, the characteristics of the Gothic novels are the locale was 
often a gloomy castle. Right, the locale was often a gloomy castle, a big building that is saddest building, that building where only negative vibes are scattered, furnished with dungeons, subterranean passages and siding panels. A typical story focused on the sufferings imposed on innocent heroine by a cruel and lustful villain. Heroine is innocent, villain is cruel and lustful and made bountiful use of ghosts, mysterious disappearances and other sensational and supernatural occurrences. Sensational, supernatural occurrences, mysteries, doubts, right? Wonder, which in number of novels turned out to have natural explanations. The principal aim of such novels was to evoke chilling terror by exploiting mystery and variety of horrors. A chilling terror and by exploiting mystery and a number of types of horrors. Many of them are now read mainly as period pieces. But the best opened up to fiction, the realm of the irrational and of the perverse impulses and nightmarish terrors that lie beneath the orderly surface of the civilized mind. Right, I hope you got my point, what I want to say, what are the characteristics of the Gothic novels. First one, the setting of the novel is a gloomy hues castle, a gloomy hues building a gloomy huge fort, right, and where there are a lot of mysterious passages, a lot of mysterious ways. You can enter through a way, but you forget the way to come out. That is the Gothic building. Second one, the typical story is focused on the suffering of an innocent girl, an innocent heroine, and often villain is very much cruel and lustful villain. This is the second characteristic and made bountiful ghosts, mysterious disappearances and other sensational and supernatural occurrences. And why the writer does so? Because he wants to create, he wants to chill you, right? Just to chill, right? The principal aim of the novel is to evoke chilling terror by evoking mystery and a variety of horrors. Mystery and horror ke through aapko darana, aapko chill kar dena, ye uska basic purpose hota hai in the Gothic novels. Right? These are the examples. Gothic novels are William Wickford's novel, Vathek, 1586, though it was not originally written in English. Right? You have to search in which language the Vathek novel was written, the setting of which is both medieval and oriental and the subject both erotic and sadistic. Mrs. Henry Radcliffe wrote The Mysteries of Udolpho and the other highly successful Gothic romance like Italy. Matthew Gregory Lewis's novel The Monk, which exploited with considerable literary skill the shock effects of a narrative involving rape, incest, murder and diabolism and the novel The Monk became so famous that Mr. Monk Lewis name came out, right? Mr. Gregory Lewis became Monk Lewis, right? On the name of the title of his novel, he was called Monk Lewis by his friends and contemporaries. Jane Austen. Jane Austen wrote a spoof of a Gothic novel. Right? She satirized the Gothic novel in her Northanger Abbey. Most important question. Or you could say one of the most important questions. Jane Austen made a good humored fun of the more decorous instances of the Gothic vogue in Northanger Abbey written in 1798 and published in 1818 and this question has been asked several times by UGC 
which of the following novel is a spoof on gothic novel which of the following novels is a satire on gothic novels which of the following novels is the criticism of gothic novels so the novel is jane austen's north and jerevy where she criticizes where she satirizes the very genre of gothic novel right so the castle of otranto you have to keep in mind you have to keep in mind the castle of otranto are the mysteries of udolpho you have to keep in mind bathet by william wakeford and then you have to keep in mind the monk that is by matthew gregory lewis and then northanger abbey by jane austen who wrote i spoof on the gothic novels all right a few other gothic novels william godwin wrote a novel caleb williams with the subtitle things as they are in 1794 then mary shelley wrote the novel mary shelley wrote the frankenstein or modern prometheus right the novel that tells the terror of a german eta hoffman still more loosely gothic has been used to describe elements of macabre and terrifying such later works emily bronte's wuthering heights charlotte bronte jane eyre and charles dickens's bleak house and the great expectations right a single episode in the great expectations mish havisms episode these are the examples of the gothic novel these are the examples of the gothic stories right in your english literature and important from your examinations point of view all right any doubt epistolary novel and after epistolary novel you read the picaresque novel and after picaresque you read the gothic novel right the three novels i have covered in today's class in today's video and the next video i'll be covering a few more novels all right thank you good luck me too very soon and if you have liked the video if you have heard the video properly please do subscribe the channel do like the channel and do share the channel amongst your friends thank you all the best